deaths. The death of a 41-year-old woman who was severely burned has now been ruled a homicide. Melissa Cook is from Saputoyak Cree Nation. She died in August, but police are asking for the public's help now. CBC's Joanne Roberts explains, and we do have to warn you, this story contains distressing details. This is the face police want you to see as they investigate the death of 41-year-old Melissa Cook. She died in August from severe burns to her legs the victim of a homicide. You can see the person behind this picture. We've talked to her family. Her family is grieving as a result of her death, her homicide. Her family wants to know more. They want to have justice and they want answers. Police don't know exactly where or when Cook was burned. They believe it was June or early July. They think she lived in homeless encampments and went to Silo Mission. In early July, she told shelter staff about her injuries and she was taken to a hospital and was there until she died. Nelson Janai is the chief of Sapotayak Cree Nation. He says when these deaths happen, the impacts are deeply felt throughout the community. It's a chain, a broken chain that needs fixing. The only way it needs fixing is by basically talking about it and addressing it and, and solving it. That's what, that's, what we, that's what we need today. Police say the plea to the public was delayed in part because of this photo. Murray says police wanted another photo, but they talked to family and family said this was more accurate. There was a lot of work behind the scenes uh, that went into this release um, just to make sure we do it in a, in a cultural and trauma-informed perspective. The plea becomes the day before October 4th, National Day of Action for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. Jason Whitford is the CEO of End Homelessness Winnipeg. He says there are many people like Cook who come to cities from smaller areas. We need to do a better job helping First Nations and Indigenous people that come to the city and need access to resources and supports. Winnipeg police say they'll be looking for more information at the end of the week. Cook's photo will be turned into a poster and will go to shelters and encampments. They want to hear from people in the areas Cook visited before she went to the hospital. Joanne Roberts, CBC News, Winnipeg.